Yo, what? Dang, about to make an educational video up here. I say it up before. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Rayquel the Best, better than the rest, aka The Dark Knight. Another, well, I wouldn't say JP and Dokkan discussion video, but it's technically not just aimed towards JP and it's Dokkan Battle in general discussion video. Today, we're going to talk about. I don't want to say the future of Dokkan Battle. I do have ideas of what they could do. Because this game has been out for two years. A little over two years. That's an incredible feat for a gacha game. But now I'm thinking what else they could do with the game. They can come out with God Leads, of course. They can come out with um, Demigods, uh, Mono Rainbow Lead, Mono Extreme Rainbow, Mono Super rainbow stuff like that they can continuously keep coming out with uh gods and keep making other guys constantly just being support characters instead of being leader like how super vegeta was once upon a time he was a leader now he's a support character once upon a time gogeta was a leader now he's a support character and now i they are going I, I believe they're going to replace blue vegeta eventually in due time so but also hit a feeling about typings i want to talk about typings that's the main Subject for this uh, video. That's the word of the day. Typings. Typings. Okay, let me chill. Okay, typings. What I mean by that is, if you guys have not noticed, I think all gacha games have this. Uh, five typings. One Piece Treasure Cruise has three different typings and two other typings that pretty much are super effective against each other. Uh, I believe Brave Frontier has the Ultimate Ninja Blazing. Has, you know, five types with a uh, heart, body... Bravery, skill, and wisdom, you know, gotcha games tend to have these five types, so it will be incredibly weird if they implemented another type into Dokkan, like an actual rainbow type character that'll break away from the five typing from gotcha games that normally that is normally in gotcha games. That'll break away from that. That would be kind of weird. Like, okay, they're doing something new, but like, do gotcha games really do this? So instead of thinking about an actual rainbow type typing, you know. As to people are assuming Gogeta could also be that. I was thinking of dual typing. Now how this will work is uh, I got I got some good ideas. Option one for dual typing. Option one, hear me out. It could work like this. For example, if Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was half tech, half AGL, okay, he will still keep the weaknesses. The option one. Um he will still do um less damage to intellect types because he's part tech and he will still do less damage to tech types because he's part AGL so that means he's AGL tech uh, he would do less damage to intellect units and tech units you know option B I said option one option two <laughs> option two he could have an attacking type and a defending type he still remain he still he can still have the two typings AGL and tech but for example AGL could be his attacking type then tech can be his defense type as in every time he attacks he attacks as an AGL every time he defends he defends as a tech type so that means he can potentially beat strength types but he's only really good against blocking AGL types because of his tech de type defensive abilities option three um Give them both typings, AGL attack. Um, this forces everyone to have more than one super though. This method, option uh, option three, option three. You have super attack, two super attacks minimum. First super attack, as I pre previously said last time in a other discussion video. Big bang attack, 100 times big bang attack. That could be typing. The typing for that attack could be tech. As weird as that may sound. The typing for 100 times the big bang command could be attack type. Meaning, when he used the super, he can beat out AGL types. Now hear me out. His second super may be at like 8, 9, key, whatever. That could be AGL. Meaning, he can do his second super attack instead of his first. And his second super attack beat out strength type units. Meaning, if you fight somebody. A fight now. Let's see. Go to Frieza event. You have to go through a strength type. You obviously mainly use his second super attack because it's AGL. And he goes into... His AGL type, you obviously use his first super attack, which is tech typing. See what I did there? And if you're fighting somebody who beats one of your typings, but if you're fighting a tech opponent in your tech AGL, you're obviously not going to go for an AGL super attack. You're going to go for a tech super attack. So that's what I've been thinking about. No, it's not in him, by the way. 
I think, I actually think that could work either the option one. I literally forget what I said for option one, but I'm going to go through it anyway. All right, I was thinking, oh crap, what did I say? I should have wrote this down. This is coming straight from the brain. Option one, I believe, or let me just say it all. Attack him having two typings. One is attacking, others for defending, for blocking attacks. AGL attack. Pretty sure I reversed that. So he blocks with one type, he attacks with the other type. That's our, that's one method I came up with. Super attacks. He one of his supers one type and the other super. His second super attack is the other type man. That was the second option. I really can't remember the third option. Um Let's see. Attack and block. Super attack. Then super attack. And then Oh, and then the I think I actually think the first option was he keep those both typings. All of his attack. All of his attacks contain those two typings. He attack a strength type who would do super effective damage to it. He attack a GL type that would do super effective damage to it. If he get attacked by an intellect type, that would do super effective damage to him. If he get attacked by another tech type, that would do super effective damage to him. I believe they can implement a dual typing system in this game. I think it will work out, not for now, in the near future. Because this game, this game's been out for two years. That's an incredibly long time for a gacha game, alright? But, you know, and they're still coming out with, you know, content and everything, keeping the game alive. It's, it's very fun. I find it hard to stay off JPN. It's crazy. But Global is still my main for personal reasons. But yeah, I think that could actually work. I'll have it in a video for you guys, the options and whatnot, because I have to edit this and know exactly what I'm saying and relay the message better to you guys. But I really think they could do that. Dual typings. So it could be like Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, he could be physical and AGL, so that means, oh, that's another thing too, if they would have a typing that conflicts with each other, for example, you know how AGL beats strength and strength beats physical, but that character is AGL and physical, if that character is AGL and physical, in this situation you will only do neutral damage to a strength opponent. For option 1 purposes anyway, because if you're attacking and you're including both attacking types, you're gonna do neutral damage. Physical is weak to strength, but AGL beats strength. So it balances out and make it neutral. That means you're weak to... I think you're weak to no type and infest the case. No, you're weak to attack still because physical it, it, physical attack is neutral. So if you are attacked by a strength type, that will do neutral damage, meaning you only have one weakness, which is the attack type that beats the AGL. You know, the strength type beats the physical, but it doesn't beat AGL. So you only have one weakness if you have a typing that is sort of like AGL and physical. That's interesting. But, you know, for other methods, it could, it could it could work out well. You know, it could work out a little more simpler. But that's what I'm thinking right now. Dual typings could definitely work. May sound a little confusing at first, but keep in mind, it, this will definitely come in handy for those uh, four or five part boss battle fights. To where they constantly change their typing. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Goku doesn't do it as much because he's AGL, strength and strength. Vegeta goes from like strength to attack to... He goes from strength to attack. He doesn't go to AGL. Strength, attack, um, strength, then AGL is the last one. I don't know, but there are many other characters that go through just type changes. So that could definitely come in handy. It'll be more confusing keeping in mind what type characters you have on your squad. But yeah, those are the three methods. Just to clarify it, I have it up on a video right now just to clarify it for you guys. That's what I think Dokkan could go, you know, look into. Something to look into in the near future. It's dual typings for some of these characters. Or the newer characters that could be released, they could have dual typings. That could be interesting. Frieza could be strength, tech. Meaning, he's neutral to AGL, but he's weak to intellect because of his tech typing. You know, it's kind of a Pokemon type thing. Is where it's, it's literally where I got the idea from. I really think it could work out too. Let me know in the comment box below what you guys think about this idea. Is it a little confusing? I could clarify it a little more. Let me know. Like I said, I have everything up on the screen for you. 
I really think they could do this in the near future. It's been out for two years and they've gotten this far. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.